Hi folks, and thanks for checking out another one of my Miss Pandaria beta video. Today we are going to be taking a tour of the Great Wall of China, aka the Serpent Spine. It is the Great Wall that blocks the more civilized area of Pandaria from the areas where bad things are happening, like the Mantid invasion from the Taolong Steps over here out on the coast, and the Dread Wastes, where a lot of Shah battles are going on. So we are going to start in the northernmost end, which is up in the Kunlai Summit, and we're going to follow the wall south. So I'll show you guys a little bit what uh, this particular area is like. First you start off in this desolate northern area, <coughs> and not much is going on. You'll see some dead barricades, you'll see some dead pandas, and not much else is going on. You come out over here, and here is an actual gap in the wall that you could go through. It's up over in this area. And there's a lot of closed off doors for this particular wall. And then you continue following it south and you'll start seeing some activity. You'll see marksmen, wall watchers. You've got this gong over here. And this is actually how I got into <coughs> the final zone of the expansion called the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. This is how I got into this particular area before I actually got the quest to get in. I was up on the wall and basically jumped over the wall and landed down here and uh, went ahead and got out to the Shrine of Two Moons, which is the horde version of a Shat or a Dalaran, basically. So we're going to continue coming along south and I actually got a surprise for you guys here inside one of these buildings. We are inside a building called Hellscream's Fist. Inside this particular b building, at least for now, all of the PvP gear is available for free without any marks. So you can talk to this Conquest Quartermaster and you can get level 43 gear over here. And unfortunately, there's a guy who's supposed to stand where this defender is standing. He gives away 464 gear. This guy uh, sells gear too, but as you can see, it's 490. And you need to have conquest points. And you need to have a piece of gear that you can upgrade. So if I wanted to upgrade my Boots of Cruelty, I would need... Uh, the original boots and I would need of course well actually on this one it doesn't even uh, one malevolent boots for the following hmm looks like I actually might be able to do it even though it's red let's give it a try over here We'll see, okay, in this particular case, it's 483 for 483. And some of these I noticed were 490. Or maybe not. Okay. Oh, there it is. The staff. So let's take a look at what some of these look like. There's the staff. There's another staff. There's the pike, which is like the one I have. Let's see if it allows me to do it probably won't. Yep. It's not letting me do it. There's actually... Ah, the vendor's back. So you can get um, 464 gear over here, and you can get 483 gear over here. So I just wanted to show you guys that, and this is what the <coughs> PvP set looks like. On my druid, there's the hat, the gloves, the shoulders, and there is a pike. I don't have a chest. Here is a flight master. It's called Hellscream's Fist. It's actually considered in town long, so we'll go ahead and mount back up and continue the tour. So we have town long steps over to our right. We have the veil over to our left. And you can see a little bit of Shah encroachment over there. That's what all the black is. 
And there's another little station over here. We've got another flight master. We've got a couple of AFK people over here. Uh, once you take a look inside, I believe if this is one of the ones where you can go downstairs and it actually has an exit. So here we are, we are now outside in Kunlai Summit. And that door opens. And you've got a quest over here for some stuff. You've got a repair guy. These are called Grummies. As a friend of mine said, they remind her of Gurgi from the Black Cauldron movie. I actually didn't know that there was a Black Cauldron movie. I'd read the books as a kid, and uh, I never actually pictured Gurgi looking like this, but it does look like it in the video. You've got some buff food that you can buy over here. As a matter of fact, I actually think I'm going to stock up on some of this dodge food. You've got a, another door that you can open up here into more shot infested areas. So I'm going to dash my way back up and we will continue the tour from the air. This is the Crimson Pandarian Phoenix. They gave us this mount. And this is actually where I hopped off to get into the Vale. This is a mount that they give you in the beta. Uh, it used to have a very buggy animation. You can see it in one of my earlier videos. Go through the Gate of the Setting Sun. This is actually the area of an instance. That's why you can see some Mantid in there. It's very similar to fights that you get inside the Gate of the Setting Sun instance. And now you come back out and now we can see we are down in this area, which is basically a main gate. This is what the instance looks like from the inside, and we are now out of it. This is an area where you fight a boss when you're doing the instance, and you can get in these cannons and use it if you come back this way. This is a lift when you're actually in the dungeon. And if you come back this way and look out over that way, that's the flare that you light when you're doing the dungeon. I'm going to go ahead and switch it up to another mount they give you in the beta. The big fat rocket. And we're flying through one of the areas here. There is a boss that you fight in this particular area. A giant Buru type bug bashes these doors in the dungeon and you fight him in that courtyard over there. Here you can see some of the Shah encroachment. That's what all of this black and black smoke is. And I believe this area is populated by a lot of elites. Yeah, there's an elite catapult. There's an elite war wagon. Here's what the gate looks like from that side. Now we're going to follow along the path of the gate again. As you can see, we're following along the gate and we're getting back into the wall. The spider populated area. And here's another quest along the wall from Bow Mistress Lee. Actually, I think I'm given a quest to go find Bow Mistress Lee. There is a breadcrumb for her. She wants you to descend down and help the Shadow Pan. So, probably some, get some Shadow Pan rep over here. Here's an adventuring supplies guy. He has 408 gear level 88 so once you turn 88 you can probably come out here for some gear 
I don't know if that'll be live in the game, but it's there's been vendors like that all throughout the beta that sell you gear. Uh, it's kind of nice if you feel like wanting to play around with some alternative specs, like if I want to do report back on what Druid Healing is like, I can probably just buy some Druid Healing gear over here. Or at some of the other areas. I believe there's a vendor who sells 384 gear. So we're continuing along south here. We're now at the border of the Dread Waste and the Vale and Valley of the Four Winds over here. Again, no gaps in the wall. And there's some Alliance people in there, so I'm going to back out so that I don't get flagged. That's probably where the Alliance equivalent of buying the PvP gear is. And again, we come to another big terrace. That's what the inside looks like. We're following it still a little further south. We've got the Valley of the Four Winds on one side. And it looks like now we have some Manted people again. And a little bit of a shot encroachment. We've got some Elite Pandas down here. Probably Shadow Pan. And over here we have the Dread Waste. We have this Elite Elemental. And a couple of Manted. Let's see if he aggros and does anything. Yep, he aggros. And we're following south further still. Pretty much same architecture we've seen all along the wall. And here's what this area looks like. We're now south enough so that the Krasarang Wilds are over here. And on this side, we still have the Dread Wastes. We're down in this area. So we're getting pretty close to the end of the wall. Nothing fancy in here. And that's it. We are now at the end of the wall. We have gotten to some rubble. And the wall ends. We're now at the border of the Dread Wastes. So there is a tall, there is a uh, nice little tour of the wall over here. If anybody is playing the, the beta that's watching this video, you guys now know where to get some PvP gear for free. Some adventuring gear if you turn 88. Remains to be seen if that'll be in live. If you want to take a look at some Valor and Justice gear, you can find it uh, out here by the um, New Zhao Temple. There is a vendor where the ox is running around that you can check out some justice and valor gear out there as a matter of fact i think uh i'm well actually i'm not going to go out there and do it because i've got pretty high level gear and it requires a rep things like claxi rep golden lotus shadow pan so hope you enjoyed this video if anybody is in the beta hope this maybe shows you guys where you can get some free gear and if we take a look at L LFR has kind of been weird this week for me. Um, I see, it's saying that I don't meet the requirements. Oh, I think it's because I'm safe. I'm actually safe for Mogushan over here, but it's not letting me requeue and giving me the warning of, oh, you know, you can't get loot. I thought it was giving me this error because I didn't have the, the right amount of gear probably because I haven't done the other. Same thing for these scenarios. These are locked, but it's not telling me what the requirement is. And of course here, the heroics. So it doesn't look like I'll be able to do anything for the week except for dailies and some heroics. So hope you all enjoyed this video and enjoy your free loot for as long as it lasts.